Hey guys, today we're in the heart of Wesley Chapel and I'm taking you on a tour of one of Taylor Morrison's newest communities. The best part about it, it's right down the road from some of the best dining, entertainment, and shopping. And of course, I'm giving you the full tour and we're jumping into it right now. I'm Adam Morjan and I welcome you to my channel. We cover everything there is to know about living in the Tampa Bay area, including the best neighborhoods and things to do, so you get a real feel for what it's like living here. In today's video, I wanna start by telling you a little bit about the neighborhood, take you through a few model homes, give you the rundown on the community amenities, and as always, I think it's important to understand what's nearby and why somebody would wanna live here. We're giving you a full A to Z, and if you are wanting more information and help finding that next home in the Tampa Bay area, that's our bread and butter. I am a licensed realtor, so see that number on the screen? Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email, and my team and I would be happy to help you and your family find your next home. All right, so today you are getting a two for one. River's Edge and River's Landing happen to be Taylor Morrison's newest communities all wrapped up into one. They are both gated communities, so you have the privacy, but one thing that is unique is that they share the amenities, which we'll talk about a little bit later in this video. So between the two communities, you get to choose from over 20 different home designs with quite a few varieties and options of homes. I'm talking about single family homes, town homes, and a nice variety of luxury living. Home sites will range from 50 feet to 75 foot wide lots and square footage ranging from around 2,000 square feet on the lower end to upwards of over 5,000 square feet. Taylor Morrison is known for being a quality builder, so you'll have your pickings from upgrades and finishes to choose from, but of the two, River's Edge is designed to be the more luxurious, offering just a bit more. As of shooting this video in October of 2022, Taylor Morrison is not even halfway through building in here, so there should be plenty of inventory over the next year or two. So all of this sounds great so far, but where is this place? That's a great question. Well, it's located in one of Tampa's hottest suburbs, Wesley Chapel, Florida. These communities sit right on Highway 56, just east of I-75, making it a breeze to get around. Wesley Chapel is known for having everything you could want, so you may not need to run into the city, but if you decide to make the trek to Tampa, you can drop into downtown in only 35 minutes or so. There's over 70,000 residents in this growing suburb, so you will experience pockets of green space or open land while driving past some neighborhoods, but it's probably easier to show you than to try to explain it, so just follow me. From a bird's eye view, you can see there is tons of greenery around you, but only 10 short minutes down the road, and you have some of the best shopping within 30 miles from here. There are plenty of grocery stores and shopping plazas off of the road for most of your local conveniences, but most will want to take advantage of the three main shopping hubs, the shops at Wiregrass, the Tampa Premium Outlets, and the Grove. These three areas will cover your shopping, dining, and entertainment, and we can't leave out the date nights. There's a movie theater, dueling pianos, axe throwing for those of you that like the action, and my happy hour favorite is the Florida Ave Brewery. You will have no problem getting to nearby schools, hospitals, or urgent cares, and there's a grocery store pretty much on every corner. I can keep going because there is so much, but I wanna take you through some homes, so if you'd like more information on the things in the area, head over to my website, and we provide you with links to just about everything. So we are back on the ground, and we are excited to show you around. This community is still new, so there is some construction going on, but we're gonna hop into some of these models and give you a sneak peek, and then we're gonna talk about some of the amenities. So without further ado, let's jump into Model Row.
So I love how spacious these homes feel, and it's really hard to tell through the camera, but being here, we can really get a good sense for the quality build. We can see the attention to detail in the finishes, and I have to be honest, I cannot bring my wife here because between my wife and my two little girls, my wife would be redecorating the house, my kids would pick out their bedrooms, and I would eventually own a new home. So let's talk about the outside. What amenities are in the community? So for starters, the community is gated, giving you an extra sense of security. Once finished, the residents will have access to the planned events, a large clubhouse, a resort-style pool and spa, covered fire pit area for those few days it gets cold, sports fields, pet parks, a playground, fitness center, tennis courts, and a half basketball court. What I love about these master plan communities is that the amenities bring together the neighbors and it's easy to just connect with others. Your kids will meet other kids and adults get to plan cookouts with nearby neighbors. The sidewalks and the safe environment make it easy to go out for a jog or simply walk the dog. While we all love the amenities, it always comes with a price. The price for these amenities comes in the form of a CDD fee. For many that are not familiar with that, it's pretty common and with newer communities here. Um, a CDD fee is simply a community fee to pay for the added amenities and it's shared by all of the homeowners and it's proportionate to the size of your property. Currently, the CDD fees in this community will range from around $1,400 to $2,000 per year, and it's paid in your taxes annually. Now, this fee can change, but it usually doesn't. There's also an HOA fee of around $540 per quarter, and this covers the uh, gated entrance, the amenity center, and the common areas. If you're not used to having fees similar to these, it may shock you at first, but it's always I always advise you know to break it down and see what you get for the neighborhood. like like this, and it may very well be worth it for you. So I'd say this neighborhood is coming along pretty well, especially since it's at the beginning stages. Now I know what a bunch of you are thinking, how much do these homes cost? Are there any available? And what are the build out times? I'm gonna get you all those answers, but let's head over to my office right now. So what do these homes actually cost? First, let me start by saying it's tough to go on a website and get a straight answer. Usually the builder advertises base prices, but doesn't include the upgrades from the design center or structural upgrades. And most likely it doesn't include the lot price. So to give you a range of what you can expect to pay, I have some round numbers here that you can use as a guide. This would be a good example. If you walked in today with a checkbook to buy a home, these examples are all uh, the all in price. All right. So keep in mind, prices change often as more homes sell and we move on to that next phase in the community. Uh, so this is only as good as right now, but good news is that you can reach out to us anytime and we can get the current prices for you right away. So starting with Rivers Landing, the St. Thomas model, which is the smallest at 2,055 square feet, would be 539,000 and you would get up to 21,000 in closing costs or seller incentives from the builder, Taylor Morrison. I mean, they're really throwing out some nice deals right now. So the Bonaire model is 2,600 square feet, four bedroom, three and a half baths, and it's going for around $626,000, and you can get up to $25,000 in incentives. And on the larger side, the Tradewinds is sitting at 4830 square feet, seven bedrooms, four bath, and a three-car garage, and it's selling for around $899,000, and they're offering $35,000 in incentives. Jumping over to River's Edge, remember, a little more luxury here. We only have two homes available at the moment, the Lincoln model with 2,992 square feet going for around 861,000 and the Acadia, which you saw in some of those clips, which is 4,052 uh, square feet going for around a million dollars. The price point is a bit higher in River's Edge and you will find homes selling in the one and a half million dollar range. I'm cautious with giving prices with new build homes as they do change often, but my team stays up to date with all of these details. And if you plan to visit any of these communities, make sure to reach out to us as we can schedule a visit for you and make sure to tell them that you have a realtor. If you don't, your realtor may not be eligible to help you when it comes time to buy. These are the newer rules of many of these builders. So if you want representation and someone in your corner, give us a call and my team would be glad to help. So why would someone want to move here? For starters, Taylor Morrison is simply a great, consistent, all around builder. This community is a beautiful blend of suburban living surrounded by Florida's natural landscapes. All in all, it's a great community and it's one of Tampa's hottest suburbs in Wesley Chapel. Under 10 minutes to all the action, yet you can come home to a quiet, tucked in neighborhood. It's a win-win in my books. If you agree and want more information on this community, or maybe you are relocating here and still not sure where you wanna live, 
See that number on the screen? Give us a call, shoot us a text, or send us an email because my team and I would love to help you find your next home. Till that next video, catch you later.